We are back with a Problem Solvers Consumer Alert this afternoon on the growing number of monkeypox cases around the world. Now, the World Health Organization is now announcing plans to rename the virus as they decide whether to classify the latest outbreak as one of international concern. So, here to let us know what we need to know about monkeypox, Dr. Karen Wendell, Director of STD HIV Prevention Control at Denver Health. Thanks for being here this afternoon. Thanks so much for having me. And you and I were just chatting. Monkeypox is not really new, so let's talk about what it actually is and how can people. Get it. So it's an orthopox virus, and it is mostly spread by direct physical contact, close contact, um, and also sometimes is spread by things that people come in contact with, materials that can contaminate it with skin drainage from wounds. And then uh, lastly, there is some thought that it can be transmitted by large droplets or kissing, so saliva and droplets that we might have coming out when we're breathing. But typically, a regular mask would prevent that, and you'd need very prolonged contact from a respiratory route of transmission. So let's talk about symptoms. Do they show up immediately, or is it a prolonged process? So it's most typically between 7 and 14 days, but it can be anywhere between 5 and 21 days um, before you see initial symptoms. And the World Health Organization just meeting actually yesterday talking about the new developments in the monkeypox. Um, what are we seeing now, and how is it differing from what we're used to? So I think it is very notably different. And so in the past, we've thought of this as a zoonosis, so something that's transmitted by close contact with animals and then from person to person after that initial spread from the animal and usually presented with lesions on the head and face and also on the extremities. What we're seeing now is um, more centrally located on the trunk and in the pelvis and we're seeing lesions on um, clients that are at different stages of development. So in the past we would say either all of the rash is red bumps or all of it is blisters or all of it is pustules at the same time. Now we're seeing things in various stages of development and in the past we would say that everyone would have symptoms of fever and swollen lymph nodes before they'd have onset of the rash. That doesn't seem to be true now. And the World Health Organization also coming out with new numbers. We know 39 countries, 3,100 confirmed cases, 72 deaths this year. Um, how can we protect ourselves? So I do want to be a little bit mindful of the deaths. So in this current outbreak with this um, less classical presentation, there have not been any deaths associated with that that we know of yet. And it does appear to be behaving slightly milder at this time, but certainly information is accruing. Um, and so I think we need to be paying attention. And I think because the presentation is different, we all need to be very aware. And really, if, if you're a person who's had contact with another person with a rash, um, then you should be thinking about getting assessed by your health care provider. And I would encourage everyone to get familiar with this on websites like CDC and the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment that have very accurate and up-to-date information. And last question, treatment. Should you just go see your doctor if you're having some symptoms? So I would say if you have symptoms of a rash, and certainly if you've traveled to one of these areas that's experiencing a lot of transmission, or if you've had close contacts with rash or confirmed monkeypox, we definitely want to see you soon, and we want to make sure we get the right diagnosis. There are many things that a rash can be, and we want to make sure we diagnose the proper process and give you the right treatment. But for monkeypox, we have limited treatment options, but certainly we want to prevent the spread in our community. And we have options to give, especially vaccines, if a person's been exposed and has not yet developed symptoms. All right, some great information. Dr. Wendell, thanks for being here.